I'm superior. Sometimes. Okay, never. Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series 83 Voyager Class Soundwave. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. You can see we have a little bit of a new packaging style here going on. We have a uh, smaller window, much larger picture there of Soundwave looking all sound. Soundwave, you look his name is Soundwave, number 83, Drones for Mars, on this side of the box we have Soundwave, on this side of the box we have a close-up picture of Soundwave, and he is a Voyager class, a class of your Europe, Voyager class A, class of your Hello and a class A, Voyager up top, Transformers Bumblebee, on the bottom words, things, barcodes on the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and you have your one sentence bio if you want to read it in multiple languages, hooray for languages, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Soundwave as he appeared in the Bumblebee movie. And very nicely done, in my opinion. I think he looks quite good in his robot mode. But let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his belly, but at his noggin. There's the noggin. You can see, nicely done. Hey, it's got some nice silver there, right for the visor. Get some silver there on the sides of the head as well. Got your transclearance chest there, Decepticon symbol. You get some gold trim going around. You get some bits of silver in the uh, crotchial region there. Some white, some red. A little bit of red there around the wrists. And the nice white thighs. You got some nice detail going on there. A little bit more gold there in the shins. It's big old feet. And move the back. You get some spots of red. You do get some nice mold detail back here. So all in all, it looks quite, quite good. In my opinion, anyway, now articulation-wise, um, the head is on a ball joint. You get just a little bit, a little bit of wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit, look down a little bit. Head can rotate, can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. They can move independent of the, of the uh, shoulder pad if you move things out. You know, you can do that if you want to, but really you should move it all together. Um, outward movement, you can get out that far. You do have bicep rotation. You have a bit, a little bit over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Um, nothing at the wrist, unfortunately, but uh, you do get waist rotation. If you move this little crotch panel up, you do have your waist rotation right there. Legs can move forward that far, back that far. Outward, you can almost do the full splits, but close. You got thigh rotation. You have a double jointed knee, although you still only get a little bit over 90 degrees of bend with it. And the feet, they can move up, they can move down. You do have rotation, and you have lots of ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include his, uh, his shoulder weapon here. It's an all in blue with a little bit of red. See some silver in there as well. Looks quite good. You can flip this section down and this can plug into sound waves back via this port right here. You can put it on either side, but really it's supposed to be on this side. It's supposed to go over his right shoulder. But as always, it's yours. Display however you wish. This plugs right in. You can see the hinge allows you to angle that up, down, whatever you want to do there. It's always your toy. Do what you want with it. And it does also include his gun. It has some nice detail going on there. You can see it's all painted as cast in blue, but the gun itself is all painted over. And you can plug that into his hand as well. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew, bang bang, and all of that good stuff right there. So there you have that, and now for comparison, here he is with Shatter and Dropkick, with Bumblebee and Prime, with Starscream and Blitzwing, with his other two Studio Series selves, 
And he is the largest of the bunch there. And just because, here he is with the uh, Mechanical Alliance version of Soundwave. Just so you can see how that works out. He's bigger, shock. But <laughs> there you go. And one last thing to show off here in robot mode is we can push this button right here. And that will open up Soundwave's chest and the other uh, core class Ravage that is coming out will fit in there. I don't have that yet, but when I do, obviously it will be reviewed, but still. Cool that you can open up the chest there and put the little minion in there. So there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Let's. So first thing we need to do, remove the weapons. And put those off to the side. Just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Just flip that in. Put that off to the side. And now we can commence. So first thing you want to do is just open up the uh, forearm panels here. Put the hand in. Close it up. Open the panel. Flip the hand in. Close it up. And then you're going to come here to the shoulder pads, and you're going to open them up. Just open this front section up, open this back section up, open the front section up, back section up. Then you're going to rotate the arms forward, shoulder pad and all. Rotate all this forward, and then all of this will come up. And you can see these little hook tabs that are going to go into these panels right up in here. So that's just going to swing over and just hook in. Either side, like so. And you got that going on. And you just bring the arm out, rotate it down, and bring the forearm down. And this tab will go into this slot right in here. So just take that and plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. Like so. And second first, just like the first. Just Rotate that out, rotate it down, and then just bring that forearm down. And again, just plug it in, plug it in. And there we have the upper body pretty much done. There's a little bit more to do, but we'll get to that a little bit later. So now we move on to the lower body. So you're going to rotate his thighs in like that. You're gonna come here, you're going to open up this panel and flip out this little section here. Once you do that, you're going to take the foot, just kind of rotate it back and bring it up like that. Same to the other side, just open that up, bring that out, rotate, flip up, there you go. So now you're going to bend the legs up like so, and then this little section here will just swing down, bring that up, swing that down. You're going to collapse these knees up as far as they will go. That is imperative. And there's a little tab that will go into a notch right in here in the crotch. So just make sure you get all that situated. Again, use all those hinges at your disposal. And once you have everything right, these two panels should tab together. Like that. And the thighs should be kind of like angled down a bit as well. So just get all that situated. It takes a little bit of doing, but you can get it. And there you go. That's pretty much roundabout how you want that looking right there. And the little knee pieces here will just swing forward a little bit. You're going to take his feet and you're going to just swing them down and this tab on his forearm is going to go into this slot right here in his foot. So just swing that down and if you have everything right, which hopefully I do, that should just tab right in. Get in there. Get in there. Oops. It takes a little bit. He has a little bit of fiddle factor getting things lined up just right. There we go. So we've has a little bit of fiddle. A little bit of fiddle to him. Not a lot. Just a little bit. There we go. Get everything back in there. Like so. Make sure everything is tabbed in properly. There we go. 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 Okay. 
Okay. So we got that going on. So now we're going to take this section here, just bring that out, rotate it, and we're gonna open up the whole back, rotate this entire panel around, and then close this back up, like so. Again, making sure everything is tabbed in, stays tabbed in. And we're done. It doesn't look like it, but we're done. <laughs> and there you go. There you have Soundwave in his alt mode. It spins pretty well. But yeah, there he is. And yeah, he just kind of transforms into a, to a slab here. Just a slab wave. But, you know, hey. As always, tack the word Cybertronian onto it, and it makes all the sense in the world. I mean, granted, it does look like something from an alien world. You can't argue that. I mean, you know, you know, the Cybertronian, uh, Cy Cybertronian Walkman? That could work. I don't know. Hey, 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 hey. But anyway, <laughs> here he is. It is all mode. We'll take a closer look at it. I mean, not too much to talk about here. It's just him just kind of, you know, just kind of doing like a kind of yoga pose going on there. But <laughs> still, again, looks like something from an alien world. I'm not going to argue that. There you go. You got nice gold accents going on in there, which is revealed in the alt mode. And everything, you know, folds up nice and compactly. I will give it that. Of course, you turn around, it has visible everything syndrome. You know, it's there. It's there. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. But there you have that. I mean, considering we never saw his alt mode in the movie. Pff, sure, this works. This makes sense. Hey, why not? Dare I say why not? People complained about the tank that they had the Mechanical Alliance transform into. And I know people are going to complain about this. So I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, the weapons just plug into either side like that. And there is your storage for the weapon. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang as he is slab slabbing. Doing a slab slabbing thing because he's slab wave. There he is, Mr. Slab wave. There you go. And you can slide like slabs should slide. Hooray for sliding slabs. And now for comparison. Uh, here he is with the Bumble Meister with Prime, with Starscream, with Satellite Wave, with Car Wave, and with the Mechanical Alliance Sound Wave. So, there you go! And, of course, the last thing to talk about is the included base of display, which resides inside the box. Now, one thing to note, since Hasbro is doing away with the uh, with the plastic blisters, um, there is kind of a faux backdrop in here, and this is what he's actually strapped to, but this is not the backdrop. We still have the proper backdrop that is in the box. Hooray! And you open that up, and you have the Cybertron scene from the movie, Studio Series 83, Transformers, Bumblebee movie, logo all that good stuff and we can just plop Soundwave down and as always a nice display option if you want to make use of it so there you have Soundwave, and yeah, nicely done figure. In my opinion, the robot mode looks really good. Um, the alt mode, I mean, the alt mode is what it is. I mean, you know, it looks like something from an alien world, so it pulls off the look. Um, you know, Soundwave has always been about function more than fashion, so for me, this makes total sense as far as Soundwave goes. Um, you know, I mean, it looks like a whole lot of nothing, but hey, again, alien world, alien technology. Doesn't have to look like anything, really, so I can give it a pass. But it's a fun figure, fun transformation, a little bit of fiddle factor going into alt mode, but for the most part, it's a fun transformation. Um, can't wait to have Ravage to go with him, so, yeah, overall, I'm pleased. I'm pretty pleased with him, so. There you go! Now, if you would like this or any other Studio Series figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my Studio Series playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. 
And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers at Studio Series 83 Voyager Class Soundwave. And this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek! Be proud! Boom in your face! Soundwave! Where is Megatron? I don't know. I have not seen him around. Oh! Well, in that case, I declare myself the new leader! That's not how that works. That's never how that works. Well, I didn't make it be how that works. You can't even fly in a straight line. I can so fly in a straight line. Are you calling me clumsy? Or that had nothing to do with flying. <laughs>